Okay, so now you're ready to write your first blog post. What you're going to do is you're going to log into Blogger and it will take you to this landing page. And from this landing page, down here at the bottom, you're going to see uh, your current blog. And then in order to create a post, you're going to click this icon. That's the orange button with the pencil and you're going to give your post a title and you do want your post to be um, something that's going to pull readers in. You want your post title to be something interesting. But for today I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to call it Tech Infused Lesson with Poplet. And then down here what you're going to do is you are going to go ahead and type in your post. And the requirements of this Tech Infused Lesson Reflection is that you need to give a summary of your lesson with an explanation of how it was uh, assessed. You also need to uh, reflect on your entire lesson. How did you think it go? How did the learners respond? You also need a prompt for feedback so that you just aren't um, one way communicating. You also want your readers to be able to provide feedback to you. And you're also going to insert a picture, a video, maybe some audio to show an example of the product. And then um, we're going to do some other parts later. So you're going to see the other videos. But today, in this video, all that we're focusing on is writing the post. So all that you do down here is that you begin typing. I've already written my post, so I'm just going to paste it in so that you don't have to watch me write the whole thing. And what I did is I said, what my app was, what did I use, and then I kind of made subheadings. So what I did for my Tech Infused lesson, lesson. and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bold that. Um, I'm going to provide student samples at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and bold that as well. There's my reflection of how I think the lesson went and how my students responded, and then I have a few random notes just for the future, what do I want, and maybe some pointers for some other teachers if they want them, of course. Um, and then I also prompted for feedback down here and I'm going to go ahead and bold that as well. So you're going to ask a question at the end of your post just hey do you have any ideas for this? Have you used it? Um, just asking for feedback so that you're not just attracting lurkers and what a lurker is is someone who only reads other people's blogs and they don't respond and we, we want to be able to contribute to each other's profession. The next thing that you're going to do is you are going to insert some um, different kind of media. It could be a picture or a video like I said, but that will be in the next video. So hopefully you have some great words to share and then watch the next video to see how to insert your media.